All right, lesson one. We are on module five, lesson one, fifth grade. And we're going to take a look at here and see what our objective is asking us. It's asking us to explore volume by building with and counting unit cubes. So let's take a look. It says the following solids are made up of one centimeter cubes. Find the total volume for each figure and write it in the chart below. So let's see. Well, we know that these are one centimeter cubes. So I have one centimeter, two centimeter cubes there. For A, I know that is going to be written as two cubic centimeters or two centimeters cubed. And you could just say one, two. I count it. So I count it. the cubes all right let's take a look at B here same situation we have the bottom row which is our base or foundation level we have one two three then I have one more up top so I have four cubic centimeters and you can just say I added three cubes uh, plus come here one cube and that was your three one two three plus your one so let's take a look at C and C is we have one two three for my layer and in each layer my first layer is three and then I have one, two, three more in my second layer. So I have three plus three, or you can say I have six cubic centimeters. And I did, I added, we can say we added three plus three, three cubes plus three cubes. Or another thing we could have put is we multiplied three cubes in each layer times two layers excuse me let's take a look at d here so i know if these two cubes are up in the air i know it has to be two cubes underneath them so i have on this base layer it will be four so it's really underneath there it looks like this as my one, two, three, four cubes at the bottom. Of course, they would have squares. My three dimensional figure would be four cubes at the bottom, and then I have two cubes up top. So we can put that we have four plus two is six centimeters cubed. And we said that we added four cubes plus two cubes all right we had a four on the bottom and then two on the top <clears throat> for e let's take a look at e well we know if we were to take this right here we would say that if i took this and i cut right down there i know that this section here would be four and if i took another cut here that would be four and then this last section would be four so i have you can say one or two things. I can say that I have four layers, excuse me, three layers of four to get my 12, or we could have looked at it like this and said, well, let's look at our layers as in layers of cake. If we had a top layer of chocolate and a bottom layer of vanilla, so let's divide it that way. So if I did it that way, it would be six up top and six at the bottom. So for E, we can say there are 12 cubic centimeters. And let's say that I added six cubes at the bottom plus my six cubes up top. All right. Now let's take a look at F. We're going to do the same thing to F here. We're going to take it and split it into two layers, a top layer and a bottom layer. 
All right, so we have, we know that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top. And that means there's eight on the bottom. So eight and eight is 16 centimeters cubed or 16 cubic centimeters. And we're just gonna say the same thing. I added eight cubes up top plus my eight cubes at the bottom. Okay, looking at number three here. It says John built and drew a structure that has a volume of five cubic centimeters. His little brother tells him he made a mistake because he only drew four cubes. So he has five cubic centimeters, but he only drew four cubes. So help John explain to his little brother why his drawing is accurate. Accurate means it's right or why it's correct. So why is this the right drawing? And what we're basically going to talk to the baby bro about is the fact that this cube is not a magical cube. It's not floating. In order for this cube to be up like this, it has to be something underneath it. So, so here's what we came up with. While we may only see four cubes, we see one, two, three, four, the fifth unseen cube is under the only cube on the second layer. So underneath this cube here that I have circled, there has to be a cube in order for this cube to be to appear to float. All right, so we know that there has to be something underneath that in order for it to be up like that. So that's what we can explain to Bay Bro. All right, let's move on. So looking at number four here, it says draw another figure below that represents a structure with a volume of five cubic centimeters. So remember, we said in order to draw our cubic centimeters, we're going to draw, first we're going to draw a rhombus. All right, then we're going to say, well, if we want to draw one, let's go ahead and complete that. So that would be my one square unit, excuse me, my one cubic unit. Now I'm going to go ahead and go two, three, four, and that's five cubic units. Now let's label one, two, three, four, five. So we know that we have all five cubes, five to make up our five cubic units, or in this case, our five cubic liters. That was five cubic centimeters. My apologies. All right. And that is the first homework of module five. Next, we're going to take a look at the second homework in module five. So I'm going to stop the video here. It's about an eight minute video. Hopefully this will help you close any gaps that you may have in this uh, lesson. Also, please use the other resources that we have available. Like and subscribe, comment, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in class. Thank you.